Hey guys, it's Dr. Steve, and one of the things that I'm excited about is this field of genetic nutrition because we're just getting started with it, and we don't have all the answers, but we're able to make some big changes in people's health with it. And one of the most popular things right now is this MTHFR gene, and everybody's like, oh, we need to supplement the folate, we need more folate to support that enzymatic pathway. And while that is true, there's some repercussions to that because they're not paying attention to the whole spectrum of the methylation chart. So what happens is if you support that MTHFR pathway first with folate, we push through the methylation process too fast in some cases, and we end up creating excessive oxidation. That's not what we're trying to do. We don't want the excessive peroxynitrate and superoxide and hydroxyl ions and the other inflammatory things that come along with that. Last thing you want is ammonia right? Oh, hey, buddy. So <clears throat> my recommendation and what I always start with when I'm doing genetic nutrition is I'm going to look at the SNPs and I'm going to support all the detoxification and the digestion pathways first so that then we can move on later. And I even take it a step further and I'm going to look at organic acids later on and see to make sure that what we're doing is actually working. Because without a check and a balance system, if we just throw stuff at you because it's a recommendation, it's not specifically for you and your genetics, it's for the general masses, and there's room for error in that. So I suggest you get it looked at properly. You can go and check it out. It's on my webpage, www.protouchrehab.com, and you can always watch all my great videos here on Facebook, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dr. Steve Spencer.